maybe you're the enemy. If Jesus died for all of our sins, that means we can all sin to infinity. The Holy Trinity. Trinity died in the matrix. Did we see God in the matrix? The architect, white nigga, face it. Zion is still his creation. Jesus was just his anomaly. Go to the sun just to get to you. Them pearly gates, what they promised me. Ready to pray to you. I don't know what to say to you. You can take your son life and all life. You can take it too. I've been to church too many times and I caught the Holy Spirit once. I done read the Bible 20 times and I don't know how to speak in tongues. I done spoke to pastors, asked them how to get to heaven, how the deacons come. I spoke to so many reverends, calling me the devil, now I'll be the son. Hey guys, it's Benedictines, the vegan. Today I want to talk about God and antinatalism. I want to talk about why I don't believe in God as an antinatalist. I didn't believe in God even before I became an antinatalist. But I still held the same views that I hold now about him. I don't believe in God on so many levels. You know, when a person asks me, do you believe in God? I don't even know how to answer them because there are so many things to touch on when a person asks you that question you don't really know what they really mean do they mean that i believe that god exists but i don't believe in him like i would not follow him do they mean that i believe i don't believe or i believe that there is a god do they mean they, that do I believe in their God or not? That I might believe that there's a God, but I don't believe in theirs. You know, that question is actually deep. So I'm going to try to answer this question on so many levels. I don't believe in what's written about God in any book. Not just the Bible just any book that talks about God but I'm gonna talk more about um, the God that's in the Bible because that's the most popular God I don't believe that the things that are written in the Bible are true because I don't think that if they were true, things would be the way that they are today. Or that things would have happened, they say that, I mean, the, the way that the Bible says they have happened. If really the God of the Bible really existed, then things wouldn't have happened the way the Bible describes. I believe that as, as, as South Africans, we would have known about God before white people came to Africa. We would have known about Jesus. He would have been uh, the most popular guy in the world. God in the flesh. Everyone would know about God in the flesh, dude. We wouldn't need the Bible to know about God. It wouldn't even need to be written anywhere. People would just know, you know. Just like we know of so many legends. We just know, we just know about God. 
uh, and the fact that the things that God used to do in the Bible, He doesn't do now. You know, that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't believe, you know, these stories were true. I mean, I've never ever seen a miracle in my life, ever. I've been to church <laughs> so many times and I've never seen a miracle. I grew up going to church, right? I literally grew up going to church. My mom is a Christian. She took me to church before I could even talk and they prayed for me so that I would be protected by God. And um, yeah, I grew up, I grew up going to church. You know, I did everything that they will do. You know, Christians will do. I did everything. I did fast. Um, I did pray a lot when I was young. I did preach. All these things that Christians used to do, I would do. I used to do poetry in church. I used to even make gospel rap songs. You know, I did a lot of things. But I reached a point where I started to question whether all these things were true. And whenever I would question people, they would say that um, I was demonic. It was demons. It's not me who's asking, it's demons. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy because I could be asking valid questions and they could just say it's demons, you know, just to avoid answering the questions that I was asking. And that's when I started to have my doubts that, oh, these people don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. You know, they're just lying. So yeah, there are so many reasons why I just don't believe that the things that are written in the Bible um, are true. And I'll talk a lot about um, these things in other videos. It's just that I want to get to uh, the reason why, I actually record, uh, why I'm actually recording this video, you know, because there's, there's, there's a point that I'm trying to make. I don't believe in God so much that even if he actually did exist, and even if things that are written in the Bible were true, I would still not believe in him. Because the God of the Bible was so horrible that I don't understand how a human being that believes in love that believes in compassion would believe in that kind of a God. We don't see anywhere where we can point to and say, God is full of love. He loves his creation. He cares about people. He has compassion. The Bible tells us that he loves us. And talking about uh, the Old Testament God, and now um, I will also talk about the New Testament God, you know, because you know it's basically the same God, right? According to the Bible, but yeah, he, he was so full of um, hatred, he was so controlling, he, he was so dominant, you know, he would kill people for stupid things, he would punish people for stupid things. So I could not believe in that kind of a God. I mean, you cannot create you know, people and when they make mistakes, you you punish them in ways that are just way too fucked up. I mean, look at the concept of hell. Hell. Like, you, you create people. You create people like out of nothing, like people who didn't exist, people who didn't even want to be created, that never chose to be created by you. So you create these people. And when you create these people, um, you give them certain desires. You make them desire certain things and you say, well, these things are wrong. You must not desire these things. If you desire these things, you're going to go to hell. Or you, you hide from them. You hide from them. And, and say that, yeah, if, you know, they got to find me, you know, they, they, they got to believe that I exist. If they don't believe that I exist, if they don't accept that my son is my son, then they must go to hell. 
and they're gonna burn for eternity. These are the beings that never asked to be born, by the way. These are the beings that never asked to be born. So how do I worship that kind of a God? I mean, I didn't ask you to create me. The best that I feel like God, the God of uh, Christians, you know, should do is to actually choose his people. Be like, oh, these are my people. And the rest of the people are just going to kill them. And that's it. You don't punish them. You know, why, why punish them? What's the point of punishing them? Can someone explain to me what's the point of punishing them? Punishing them? Because that to me seems demonic. It seems like a demon would do that. You know, you just punish these people for fun or something. Like, what, what's the point? You know, you've created, you, you were maybe doing an experiment or whatever you were doing. So you create these people and some of them just don't obey you. Or some of them are just not how you'd want them to be. So what do you do? You just, you know, destroy the ones that, you don't like and leave the one that leave the ones that you like isn't that the better thing i mean there are a lot of people that are worshiping him in this planet there are a lot of people that think it's cool right why not leave the rest of the people that uh, are doing the things that he doesn't like you know why, why doesn't why doesn't he just kill them you know or the ones that have already died why doesn't he just leave them dead like not resurrect them that's very important to ask because that's really evil to just send people to ban in hell for an eternity for something that they didn't do for so for very long. I mean, we live in this planet for um, less than 120 years, but then you're going to ban for eternity for the mistakes, not even mistakes really, but for the things that you have done here. And we're supposed to worship that kind of a God. He's, he's obviously evil. You know, if I were to worship someone in the Bible, I would worship the devil because he's the one that gave Eve that um, fruit. You know, that made her realize thing, what things were wrong and what things were right. You know, that fruit gave them the knowledge of good and evil. Which I think is good. Like, why, why was God even hiding? Why, 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 why did God not even want them to eat from that tree? It's because he didn't want them to be enlightened. So the devil wanted them to be enlightened. So maybe he is the hero. And we just don't see it. Because the Bible was written by Christians, right? It was written by people who believed in God. People who, to me, are, have not evolved enough to see the truth. thing about it it, 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 it it comes down to that like if you evolve enough to really see what's right and what's wrong because you cannot say that this guy is good and he's full of love while he's not doing or even saying things that align with that you see he's not like um do, do i have um more love than the christian god because I, I, I wouldn't send anyone to hell. There are a lot of people that have wronged me in this planet. There are things that I, I've, tried, I've, 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 I've tried for so many years to heal from because um, they traumatized me and these things were caused by some people. But I forgave them. I wouldn't want them to be punished or anything because I understand that they're just humans we're, we're all in this you know fallen state of consciousness together so i even if god existed i wouldn't believe in him i also don't believe in god because he, he if, if i would I also wouldn't believe in god if he existed even if there wasn't the bible or anything like that even if it was not written in any book i still wouldn't believe in him even if i knew that he existed and even if I interacted with him just because he created this I wouldn't believe in anything that created something that is this hellish I mean the place is really horrible look look at you know the animals they have to kill each other to survive when when you really pay attention to the things that are happening in the world I mean how can you worship something that has created that 
The animals are really going through hell. And even humans, you know, <laughs> we're going through hell because we are here. So why would I worship something that has created this? I mean, something would really need to be wrong with me for me to even, you know, worship that thing. It doesn't make sense. I don't appreciate this. So I cannot worship something that has created this. You know, does that make sense? So that's what I mean when I say I don't believe in God. I don't believe in God on so many levels. So that is why it's so easy for me to actually say that, you know. Because I think that um, a lot of people don't understand what I mean when I say I don't believe in God or, or what an internalist mean when they say they do not believe in God. It's not just the things that are written in the Bible. It's that we don't agree with God, right? We would not even agree with God even if we knew for sure that he existed looking at the amount of suffering that is happening in the world, you know? And one thing that I really hate about how things are is that for this world to continue to exist we have to be manipulated into reproducing you know we are programmed in such a way that we must become weak and then we reproduce you know this happens to us this happens to other animals it's it's all a weakness really i i i I often say this that being horny is really a uh, it's really hard right and you 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 have to beat it if you don't beat it you're gonna go and do something stupid something that you wouldn't really want to do it's not like people really want to be reproducing I don't think people really want to reproduce when you really think about it they, they don't especially men you know women are programmed to want to reproduce um, and I'll explain I'll explain why uh, i'll explain this in other videos i, I, I don't wanna um you know move away from this uh topic but yeah oh we are being manipulated through these chemical reactions you see you're supposed to feel horny and then want to experience pleasure from releasing your spams and you go and have sex and it's harder for animals um it's much harder for animals because they're too dumb human beings are dumb too but they're not as dumb as animals that's why we have people that are like you know fuck this shit man i'm, I'm not gonna reproduce but i don't it's not like that for animals i don't think that animals who are like we don't want to reproduce that's why i'm saying it's worse for them it's it's much easier for us because we are much smarter than them you know, we are much woke than they are. We are able to see that this this is fucked up and we can't keep on repeating this cycle. We can't keep on bringing more slaves here to experience this evil world because it's an evil world. It's, it, this is a fact. It's, it's, not an, it's not an opinion because people want to act like this is an opinion. No, this fucking world is evil. Even Christians and if all, all, all kinds of people believe that the world is evil, you know, People who believe in any kind of religion, in, in, in any kind of religion, know that this fucking world is evil. It's just that they believe that things are going to be better after they've died. You know, that's what they were told. That, yeah, you just got to worship God. You just got to do what God wants you to do. And in the afterlife, you're going you're gonna to be good. You know, everyone knows that this fucking place is evil. No matter how well you're doing, you know that this fucking place is evil, dude. No matter how well you're doing, you might be rich, you know, you might be getting a lot of things that you want, but you know, you know that it's evil, you know. You might not know it through your own experiences, I mean, but, but, but yeah, you, you, you will see other people suffering and be like, damn, man, what have I done to be experiencing the good things that I'm experiencing while... Well, you know, some people are really, really suffering. What is it that I have done? And that makes you thank this God. Like, yo, thank you.
you know how I perceive God. I perceive God the same way that I perceive um, someone who kidnaps people and put them in, in one place and say, if you do the things that I want you to do, I'm going to, you know, kind of reward you or I'm not going to torture you or, or as much as I torture other people. That's how I perceive God, the Christian God. Like if the Bible was true, that that's what the, that's what uh, the Christian God will be. It, it's someone that kidnaps people and put them in one place and say, "Do all the things that I want you to do. Otherwise, I'm gonna, you know, punish you. I'm gonna make your life hell if you don't listen to me. If you don't worship me. If you don't spread ignorance." I'm gonna, I'm gonna punish you for it. You see, that's that's what it's it's, it's about. Think about it. Isn't that what the Bible says? You, you know, everything is just sugar coated. But the truth is that that's what it really says. When you really look at it for what it is, that's when you get to realize it. It's the same with uh, like proposing a girl holding a knife and saying that. Yeah, you know, I love you so much, you know, but um, yeah, you've got to love me back because if you don't love me back, I'm going to stab you. It's the same because what the Bible says is that you must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Otherwise, you go, you go to hell. Who created hell? Who created the devil? God. You see, I mean, he can choose to let you free. Be like, oh, you don't love me. You don't love my son. Okay, good. Be free. Just the same way that a normal person would actually do if a girl doesn't like him. You know, you're not going to stab a girl for not liking you. Just be like, okay, it's fine. You know, if you don't think I'm the shit, fuck it. I'm good. You know. That's it. So the, your dude is evil. Your God is evil. And you probably don't know that it's evil because you didn't eat that fruit. <laughs> I like to it's use that as an example that... Before they ate that fruit, they didn't know right from wrong. And he, want them, he didn't want them to know right from wrong. That's why he didn't want them to eat that thing. So Christians today don't know right from wrong. They think that guy is dope. They think he's not evil. While the truth is that he's more evil than the devil. In fact, the devil might actually not be evil at all. Because what he's trying to do is free people. Right? That's what he'd be trying to do. When you reach, uh, when you read the Gnostic teachings, that's what he was trying to do. You know, that's why you hear things from the perspective of the devil. That what is he trying to do is to free people. You see, that's so. That's what's really important to note here. And I, I, I will talk a lot about Gnosticism because I think it's very, very important and it's related to antinatalism and i've said this before i've said that uh, gnosticism is um or antinatalism is an advanced form of gnosticism because we are very much open and honest about not loving this world but uh, gnostics weren't really like that because i think they did believe in reproducing you know they were bringing more and more people here but they didn't believe this world to be good. They they felt like the world was evil. So antinatalists are like, no man, we ain't even reproducing. Fuck this shit. It's 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 an evil place to be, and we're not gonna bring more people to experience this bullshit. We're experiencing it ourselves. We can see that it's bullshit. So why bring more people to experience this bullshit? You see, it's that simple. You know, it's. Antinatalists are just people who are so fucking woke that the world just can't really get it. Because it is being woke. You, every human being is programmed to want to reproduce. You know, you're supposed to feel all type of emotions when you have children. You know, when you see children, you're supposed to feel all kinds of emotions. But antinatalists are like, no man, we're not going to be manipulated through that. Fuck that shit. Fuck how we feel. This is bullshit and we know it. We can see that it's bullshit, so we're not going to bring anyone here. 
fuck orgasms man fuck fuck sex fuck whatever all this bullshit that is being used to manipulate us fuck all of that shit because that's what the fuck we're saying you see it's not that we wouldn't feel the same emotions that you know parents feel we would feel that shit all this shit we, we, we would feel it but we are so fucking woke that we are acknowledging what the truth is the truth is that there's so much suffering here for us to be bringing more people here because on top of that no one is allowed to leave i talk a lot about assisted suicide because it's so important how is it that people are not even allowed to exit that's really sick that is really really sick man So yeah, man, um, I, I had to talk about this, you know, I think it's really, really important for people to, uh, to really understand why I chose this position, why I'm an internationalist and why I don't believe in God, you know, because <laughs> sometimes people, you know, just think, you know, I'm possessed by demons or something and I've been to so many churches and never I've never been exercised and that's very important to uh, to, to to look at why is it that when I go to these powerful churches where they pray for people who got demons and these demons start manifesting why is it that when they pray for me nothing happens why is it because something must happen. I must be the worst demon ever. Like, look at how I'm talking about the Christian God. I must be the worst. I must be devil himself. So why why nothing happens? Because I've been to so many churches. You know, daylight goes like I've been to so many churches and I, and I caught the Holy Spirit once. Yeah, I've been. Like I said, I grew up in church and I've never I never caught the Holy Spirit. You know, there's never been a point where a demon manifested in me. Nothing, nothing like that has ever, ever happened to me. So we must question these things. Why, why is it? It's because I'm not <laughs> a slave to these things. I'm not a slave to these ideas. I'm not a slave to these spirits, if they're spirits, whatever. Because I, because I want, I want to, I'm going to talk a lot about demonic possessions. In other videos, I want people to really understand what what I think is really happening. I've never had anyone talk about these things, so I, I want to talk about these things because I've studied these things. These are really important things to me because I'm really looking for the truth. You know, when I go to church, I'm actually looking for the truth. I'm not looking for what's comforting. I'm there looking for the truth, dude. So if I don't find the truth, you know, I'm, I'm not going to act as if I found it. You know, I'm that honest with myself. You know, that's really what it boils down to. Thank you all guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Let's push the movement. You know, let's push the movement, man. Um, that's what I want to do, man. That's what I want to focus on doing. It's speaking the truth all the time. You know, that's it. Peace.